Scientists have warned that a massive volcano in Alaska has a 50-50 chance erupting in the near future. The 11,000-foot-tall Mount Spore sits 77 miles from Anchorage, the state's largest city which is home to nearly 300,000 people. Over the last 10 months, it has been experiencing an unusually high amount of small earthquakes. Since the seismic activity first began in April 2024, the rate of earthquakes has increased from an average of 30 per week to an average of 125 per week, ramping up in early October. Experts at the Alaska Volcano Observatory AVO, believe this seismic activity is being driven by new magma churning beneath the volcano, which could be a sign that it is getting ready to erupt. If Mount Spur does erupt, it could produce explosive plumes of ash, destructive mudslides called lahars and avalanches of hot gas, ash and rock called pyroclastic flows, which would race down the volcano's side over 200 miles per hour. Fortunately, there are not any communities within the potential path of pyroclastic flows or lahars from Mount Spore, but the amount of ash that would spew forth from this volcano could pose a threat to human health, causing breathing difficulties and releasing toxins linked to cancer. The last time Mount Spore blew was in 1992, when it awoke from 39 years of dormancy after 10 months of elevated seismic activity. That eruption emanated from the volcano's crater peak side vent, an opening located on the side of the volcano, and produced a column of ash that rose 65,000 feet above sea level. About a quarter inch of ash accumulated in Anchorage, prompting residents to stay inside or wear masks when venturing outdoors. And because volcanic ash particles are angular and sharp enough to cause jet engines to shut down, Anchorage and other nearby airports were forced to close until the skies cleared. Today, there are even more flights coming in and out of the Anchorage airport. So if something like that were to happen that would be very disruptive, Matt Haney, the scientist in charge of the AVO at the U.S. Geological Survey, told Live Science. A large ash cloud might also affect flights that traverse Alaska on their way between North America and Asia, he added. Haney and his colleagues at AVO have been keeping a close eye on Mount Spur's recently elevated seismic activity. It's had a higher than normal number of earthquakes for many months, he said. But over the past month, that itself increased, and also the location of the earthquakes changed. The seismic activity was previously located near the volcano's peak, but it has since moved about two miles downslope to the crater peak side vent. Another piece of evidence to suggest an event similar to the 1992 eruption could be imminent. But it is also possible that the earthquakes subside without any volcanic activity. This has happened before. In 2004 and 2005, for example, Mount Spore experienced increased seismic activity, but calmed down by 2006 without an eruption ever taking place. Another possible, at least likely, explanation for the increased seismic activity could be that Mount Spore is preparing to unleash an eruption from its summit vent. Such an event would likely be explosive and could produce lava flows, lahars, and other hydrologic hazards, according to AVO. While this is theoretically possible, Mount Spore has not erupted from its summit crater since historical record-keeping began. What's more, the fact that the seismic activity migrated from the summit to the crater peak side vent is strong evidence to suggest a flank vent eruption is far more likely.